Hello guys, welcome back to Potan's War. And do you know what is the most common mistakes you do when playing a bolt action? Well, I noticed few mistakes in, in my past games and some mistakes people are keeping repeating on Facebook or forums. That I made some lists on my blog a couple of years ago actually. But Google still put there something like 10 people per day, so I think it's time to make a video from it. So let's start, let's start with Medic. When it's come to the healing with the Medic, you need to think about two things. First off, in addition to the infantry, he can also heal artillery groups. And second, he only heals wounds from small arms fire. So, no heavy weapons, no exceptional damage, and no close combat. And the thing that is also overlooked is that this means that Medic can heal no wounds from sniper fire. Officers, bonus to morale. Unit can take cannot take more than one bonus for the morale from officer nearby simultaneously. So taking two platoons or bonus big officer can never help you to stack up the morale. And not to forgetting that the unit can never have more morale value higher than 10. Artillery without toe. Rules clearly state that any gun that is heavier than the medium, or without the wheels, cannot move itself. Or if the crew is reduced to one guy, but it's not relevant to the mistakes I'm going to talk about. However, it means that without a toe, you cannot come to the table with this artillery from reserves or during the first wave. There could be some gentleman's agreement about one free movement or something like that, you know, placing the artillery on the edge of the table, etc. But according to the rules, it's zoomed to the eternal stay of the table. Sniper and cover. Sniper ignores all bonuses for cover. Whenever it's soft hard cover, gun shield or bonus for the building. But a lot of people forget that he also ignores bonus for hidden setup. So sniper without pin or without missing his assistant will basically always hit on two or three plus. Aircraft shooting and pins. Sad things about flag fire on the aircraft is that it happens after the plane arrives and deals out the pins to the nearby targets. And these pins are of course included for the flag fire. So if flag gun was in range, well, it's rendering it almost useless. As if not then aircraft mechanic itself wasn't quite OP. Aircraft and target destroyed. Interesting situation is where our observer is calling our plane on a target which was in the turn before the airplane is this arrives is destroyed. If the player controlling the aircraft on arrival throws one, two, three, but well, nothing happens. But on four plus, the plane has flown the table, and since there is no longer the target, the attack is basically cancelled. No pins, no flag fire, and observer could not call another plane. Except he's of course American, and he still has his second plane on the track. Again. You can have some gentleman's agreement that the current situation can be coded as 2 to 3. So change the target and aircraft can arrive on the next round. But it's again house ruling like mentioned earlier. Reese escape and orders. Some people forget that Reese move can be taken even after the unit has been issued order. But then it will change the order dice to down. Vehicles cannot perform more than one Reese escape per round or shoot after performing it. Throw of one is fail. Throwing one during hitting or damaging a vehicle is always a failure. Always. Period. Regardless of how big your pen bonus or if you shoot, uh, how another hitting bonus are, just one is always a miss. Exceptional damage. A lot of people confuse the mechanics of how, how to trigger the exceptional damage. Mistakes from, well, basically other games. And I think it's activated when you roll to hit, as was normally in Warhammer 40k, for example. But exceptional damage only occurs when, grand, when dealing damage. So if in, on the injury thrown you throw six, the player might throw the dice again, and if he rolls it to the six, it's exceptional damage, and you can choose the wounded model. If it does not score 6 for the second time, well, nothing happened and wounds are still the normal. The terrain is not an obstacle. When a unit attacks 
Another unit that is hidden behind the obstacle, it changed the unit initiative and the attacker and defender are fighting at the same time. However, many people automatically take any rough terrain for obstacle and it's wrong according to the rules. So if you attack unit in the first, well, attack. Attacker goes normally and throws as well, basically nothing happens. However, if the forest has a, well, wooden fence or something like that, attacker will go along with the defender. Down, down the white aircraft and each eye hits. Because common sense says that when you are lying on the ground, you have less chance of, well, being hit by the fragments. Down or the divide number of high explosive hits, direct and indirect, and shots from the airplanes. It's small piece, but think about it. Anti-aircraft gunfire. Strange is that the flag shooting never need loss. So, line of sight. Just that the aircraft is in the arc of fire. Among other things, that means that the flag vehicles with long range, which usually have the arc of fire of 30, 316, anyway, can shoot at enemy plane almost always. Interestingly, the flag shooting is compulsory. That's really important. So flag unit must shoot even if they are hidden or have the ambush order. Ambushing units go down afterwards, as we, as you probably know. So basically, if you have some anti-aircraft autocannons waiting for some soft skin or <coughs> armored car in ambush and there is airplane, your ambush is screwed because the anti-aircraft guys need to do their primary job and it is shooting at the aircraft. Hidden setup and first wave. Units can always start the game in hidden setup. Well, units that sorry. Units that can always start game in a hidden setup. So spotters, observers, snipers must go in the first wave, which some scenarios do. They can still use their ability for hidden setup and not go from the table edge, which is quite handy. But of course, they are normally content for the limit of maximum units available for the first wave. So you don't have these units available and for extra snipers, spotters, and stuff like that. So I hope this little list of common mistakes help you. Maybe you find out some mistakes you made. Maybe you will think about some other common mistakes you see on the tables and wasn't mentioned, which is of course possible. So if you do, feel free to drop them in the comments and I will make some follow-up video or maybe guys in the comments can help you. I hope this was sort of both educational and entertaining for you and if you are interested in seeing more of my YouTube videos for Wargaming or even World Action, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and if you like the video, like, comment as it earlier and feel free to share it to your friends who is also playing World Action. I can use some of the tips you proved here. So thanks you for watching and hopefully see you on the next one. Bye guys.